Hi everybody, it's Bonnie Jean from BonnieJean.com. Welcome back to today's video. Today's video is Sunday and it's number 20 and it's our chance to get together and have a little conversation. So the one thing I wanted to talk to you about today is video, video enhancement or video creation. I mean, you know, whatever you want to say. I've been getting a lot of questions. A lot of people have been telling me that my videos are getting so much better. They are improving, but yet they don't exactly give me you know the explanation about where they're improving so I'm just gonna assume that it has something to do with the fact that I'm sitting in front of a brand new camera now if you remember my birthday was in March and the partner went and surprised me by buying me a new handy cam camera but I had not you know had the opportunity to work with it but for the last several videos I probably for the last two three or four at least videos that I've made have been made from the handy cam now, it's a little bit different than my Kodak ZX3 or Z times 3, whatever you want to call it, but I still like both cameras. Now, the Kodak's not as bright and cheery looking as, you know, this camera is, obviously, but one of the things that, that, you, that you should, you know, consider when you make a video, I mean, maybe I could give you a little a couple of tips, okay? First of all, don't sit in front of your monitor because if you sit in front of your monitor and wear glasses like I do, you get the reflection. That's one thing that I've learned from sitting in my office that if I'm going to produce a video up there, I have to either turn my monitors off or wait until they go off by themselves. And then I don't get that reflection in my glasses. But then I come downstairs here searching for natural light. And as you can see behind me, I have a lot of natural light. In fact, with the Kodak camera, I had to open up the blinds halfway in order to get that natural light to flood into the room so the camera would pick it up and make me look nice and clear or whatever and not so dark on the face. But today, I'm actually, I just went over to the blinds and I just nudged them open a little bit because when I opened them up as much as I did for my other camera, there was so much light that flooded into this room. My glasses looked like, you know, made me look like I was glowing. So. I turned the shades down a little bit, but one of the problems that I see in a lot of videos that are being created today is they're dark. And they're dark because you don't have enough natural light that comes into the house. So put yourself in a room where it has a window and, and record your videos during the daytime when that natural light is shining through. And it's best to be done before dinner time because if you wait until dinner time, the sun's going down and you, you still have natural light coming in, but it's not the same kind of bright light that you really need in order to light up your videos. Now, there are other things that I did in my videos too. And if you had Camtasia, I could certainly tell you what to do as well, but I know a lot of you don't have it. And I know that you're using Windows Live Movie Maker. So I'm gonna have to rehearse myself in that program because I don't use it. But I'm pretty sure that, you know, once I get a grip on it, I could show you, you know, maybe little tweaks that you could do to enhance the brightness of your videos. A lot of things too is, um, I hear a lot of bumping noises in some videos. And that's because you're either hitting the table that your camera's sitting on, or you have a microphone that's attached to your body and you're moving to a point where that microphone is starting to brush up against your clothes and it's coming through on your video. So either sit still <laughs> or take the microphone off your lapel and put it in, you know, put it, set it on the desk in front of you or something and see if that helps. So there's a lot of other things that you could do. I mean, I love to play in Camtasia. I love working with animation. I also have another program called um, HD Sony Platinum, something like that. So it's, it's the Sony SoundForge HD Platinum, and I have level 10. I have never upgraded because I didn't like the reviews that I read over at Amazon about the upgrade. You know, people said just stick with the one you had, so I stuck with 10. And that does a lot of different types of screening and uh, green screens and a lot of photo manipulation and you could do animation in there as well and it's not as pricey as Camtasia however it is not a screen capturing program the Sony SoundForge is not a screen capturing program it is just a video editing program so but if you still want to add animation and stuff like that to your videos you can certainly consider that product I have it and you know maybe one day I'll do a walkthrough and show you exactly what it can do now Another thing too that I, I realized after I made that video to show you how to do animation in Camtasia, somebody said, well, I don't have Camtasia. I really would like to do it though. You know, you could do animation in PowerPoint and you can produce a movie 
export it out as a WMV file and add that to your video editing software and you can make your own animation in PowerPoint. I was even considering on even doing a tutorial to show you how to get it done. So if you would like me to, to make a tutorial to show you how to do your own spinning icons in, um, in Microsoft PowerPoint, just let me know and I'll, I'll get a video created. No problem. So the rest of this week is going to be spent doing the fan page challenge. I have to go over to Tiffany Dow's blog. I have to get caught up. She has been sharing a lot of great information as far as, you know, preparing everybody for her 90 day money, residual money product creation challenge. And I want to make sure that I am up to par and I am up to speed with everything that, you know, that she's shared. She did a product creation walkthrough, I believe, and I didn't even have an opportunity to look at that yet although I did download it. <laughs> so, but there's a lot of things that she's touching base on, the fears and where you're gonna, you know, put your product when it's done so you can announce it, how you get affiliates, you know, uh, marketing the product. I mean, there's just so many nuggets of great information that she's sharing and I'm missing out because I'm keeping myself busy uh, with making graphics. So I have to make it a point to go over to Tiffany's blog to make sure that I get caught up. So that's pretty much all I have to say. I mean, the fan page challenge is really going well. I got a lot of people coming to my site. I'm going to have to do another case study because I went in to the bonniejean.com C panel and I did, or, you know, I looked at the traffic and I was just absolutely amazed about how this traffic just keeps going up and up and up and up. So I'll be doing another case study and sharing that with you on the website. And then I realized too that I never did um, a sales income sheet or anything like that. I have been making sales. They're, you know, they're not the greatest, but hey, it's better than zero. And I just realized I never shared any of that stuff with you. So I'm going to have to compile that together. And my first sales income report will probably be uh, first quarter of the year because <laughs> I'm not going to go back and do January, February, March separate. I'll just combine them all together and say first quarter of 2013. Here's what I earned. So until that happens, you take care, be safe and have fun. I'm going to scooch because I'm hungry and I will talk to you next week.